Hannah, you are the leader of a pilot project of the Finnish Foreign Ministry that supported a tool for enhancing policy coherence for development. Um, I have the document here. It looks very nice. It was presented at the European Development Days. What is the most maybe practically useful finding of that pilot project? Well, practically most useful finding was absolutely that the cooperation and the mutual understanding of different stakeholders. This, you know, this was very much of a multi-stakeholder approach to food security. So in the pilot uh, steering group, we had everybody who in Finland deals with global food security issues from different perspectives. We had the relevant ministries, we had the relevant research institutions and the Helsinki University, and we had the relevant NGOs. And... Uh, it was, uh, I guess, it was the first time ever that especially the research institutions were involved in this this kind of a, a joint exercise. And uh, uh, the amount or the, the learning curve that occurred during the one year of the work with this, this, with this pilot was very steep and the... Uh, uh, openness and frankness of the discussions we had in the steering group was was something at least I had never uh, experienced before. Also, uh, it was <clears throat> it was uh, first time that we had division of labor. So this was not a foreign ministry exercise. It was led and uh, coordinated by us, but the responsibility was shared. Uh, between foreign ministries, Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, Ministry of Environment, and an NGO uh, for the development NGO platform on, on methodology. Now, in terms of application, Finland is going to finance a country study in Tanzania, I believe, to test that methodology for country studies. Two different issues. The first issue is this tool of OECD for member states policies. Another issue is, uh, because it's been clear from both the discussions around policy coherence in, uh, within OECD, as well as from our pilot, that we need, no matter how difficult and challenging it will be, we need to get evidence for the policymakers on on policy coherence, what it is, what are the impacts of coherencies or incoherencies at developing country level, and and um, while we were uh, we were supposed to have something different as a as a country level study in our in our initial uh, or original thinking, but as as um, the work. Uh, between OECD and ECPDM evolved in parallel with our pilot, and we, of course, as as DAC and OECD member and an active one, we, we participated in in these discussions as well. We decided that instead of having a a, a small Finnish country level case study, uh, it would be much more meaningful and value adding if we if we made it. Um, a joint exercise together with an international research institution. And this is why we decided that we will support ECPDM in, uh, in their work uh, to, to develop a methodology for country-level impact assessment. OECD had contracted ECPDM to provide a tool to collect and to create this country-level evidence of impact. Of, uh, of coherent or incoherent OECD policies, and it fitted it fitted us very well that as a parallel step and immediate next step after our national pilot, which is which was about Finland's policies or Finland's influence on EU policies, that then the next step is to sponsor study on testing how this a methodology developed by ECPDM could create um, meaningful evidence at country level. And we chose Tanzania, and now we understand 
that um, other country there are other countries are getting on board with uh, with a couple of other other pilot countries and so that together will create a nice source for evidence i'm also looking here at the little overview that was created from the pilot there are some key findings in there about cooperation and mutual understanding between ministries and research institutions and so forth Often these things boil down to quite obvious or, or, or often heard uh, claims for certain needs to be fulfilled. Uh, so beyond that helpful analysis of PCD challenges, what is Finland going to do to tackle these five challenges that are entailed in these key findings? Of the policy objectives, as you can see on the reverse page, we thought that the most important is to really systematically and more effectively use development policy expertise on food security within our national EU coordination system. Then the other key objective is to create this evidence from a country level, developing countries, and also increase awareness of how important it is that different policies don't operate in their silos but come together because they all, and now I'm talking about the, the, the policies that are relevant for food security, influence to the final outcome as impact at the country level, let's say Tanzania. Then compared to the initial expectations, the linkages between climate change and food security turned out to be even much tighter and closer and, and important than we initially thought. As one objective, we formulated that Finland will ad actively advocate the tightening of greenhouse gas emission targets to 30% as part of our global broader commitment. We should, both in our national uh, strategy for green economy or green growth, uh, as, as in EU and international level strategies, uh, we, we should much uh, more meaningfully include uh, food security aspects. Um, and also, in uh, going back to the climate change, that, that uh, in, in climate change mitigation and adaptation measures, you should, we should much uh, more clearly articulate the food security aspects in those measures. And last but not least, we should strengthen on a quite broad basis the development cooperation which is aiming, having as its ultimate objective, uh, enhancing global food security. Maybe you can elaborate a little bit on how you see the cooperation between your ministry, the OECD, ECDPM, the role of the donors in the future in terms of pushing this agenda forward. Well, a majority of our donor partners are also EU members. And as most of the key policies that impact global food security are exclusive EU policies, it is very much up to the the member states and uh, their their active influence uh, how the EU policies turn out and so um, uh, you hear uh, as you hear a lot of, of kind of talking that well we can't influence this or that because that is EU policy but who is EU it's the member states and uh, our Commission and the member states and so, uh, Commission is is having as, as as a routine system is they are conduct, conducting uh, some kind of impact assessments, and they are improving that. There are consultations ongoing on a new new impact assessment methodology. But at the same time, uh, individual member states need to be much more active in ensuring that that policy coherence be it for food security or for other development objectives that it really materializes in EU policy. And this, this, uh, we, we consider the cooperation between EC, with OECD and ECDPM and Tanzania on this very methodology pilot in Tanzania very, very uh, crucial because 
because of, for the fact that that pilot study will provide the evidence that the policymakers need, we cannot discuss we, uh, or we cannot ask the politicians to discuss policy coherence or policy incoherence if we don't have the ammunition for that. And so that is, that is why we need evidence. Thank you very much, Hannah. Thank you.